Got a little clips going on. You guys probably won't be able to see that that well. Just it is so cold out here right now. Okay, okay, that's enough of that. I'm going back inside. <laughs> Got a new addition to the paramotor winter flying gear here. <laughs> and it happens to be from the same place these motion heat heated gloves are made from. Canada. <laughs> Baffins. Nice buckles, and the best part is they are rated for minus 94 below, so they should do the trick. Anyway, just figured I'd share those with you. I'll let you know how they go as soon as I use them. One more thing I just discovered here. I was looking at these, other than how nice they look, really cool, but this top here on Velcros all the way around, and this whole thing pulls up, and there's another drawstring thing right here, just like this one. I haven't pulled it out, but I'm assuming it pulls out and extends up onto your leg, maybe up to your knee or something. So that's pretty cool. I don't really wanna rip them open and do that, but you can see there. Velcro all the way around, like I was saying. And then it unfolds and goes up. I can until it unfolds in there. Yeah, that's really cool. So anyway, another cool little feature, the baffins. Figured I'd share that with you guys. Not really sure what this little thing's for, a little loop on there. But, yeah, these things weren't cheap either. They were uh, as much as my heated gloves, dang near. 240 bucks. Uh, anyway. There's the baffin boots. I'm gonna try to go for a little flight here today. Minus seven. So, I'll get with you in a little bit. All right, minus seven. Jeep looks pretty cold. Pretty iced up looking. It's been running for about 10 minutes at least now. We got a... Uh, couple liters in the mini plane mobile head up to the launch site here and do some sub-zero flying <laughs> so I usually don't fly when it's this cold but it's been pretty cold all week so we're just gonna send it all right we'll catch you guys at the launch site if my motor will start by the time I get down there <laughs> all right we made it back up to the LZ here Got a nice little plowed area here. Kind of a short takeoff, but we got a little bit of a breeze, so that's gonna help. It is cold, let me tell you. I'm gonna sit in the car here a minute and uh, warm my hands back up before I start the motor and get the rest of my gear on here. So, some new gear we got, as I was showing you earlier in the clip. The new Baffin boots. Nice, nice, stylish. They seem to have really good traction. I don't think I'm gonna wear my cleats today because, boy, with this minus seven too, it's just makes for better traction. So anyway, I feel like I can grab really good. I'm not gonna put my cleats on. I got a new pair of cleats too. Sit in the car here. So. 
Whew, it is cold. I don't have a thermometer in my car. That's why I took a clip of Katie's SUV thermometer. Or not SUV, but Subaru. Kind of like an SUV. Oh. You guys up there for a minute. Yeah, we got these new things. Which I've had them before. The smiley one broke. The motion heat heated gloves with the wind stopping glove over them is a must. I mean, you can see how nice and dexterous that is. Fingers, you know, you can really move good. Not too bulky, but bulky enough. Yeah, I got a video about those, unboxing them. You guys can see them better in that one. And of course, we got the Red Bull, gives you wings. Encouraged to fly in minus seven. <laughs> Whew, she is a cold one, let me tell you guys. This is gonna be putting my uh, heated gloves through the mirror. I only got mobile batteries for mine right now. Really like to have the 16 volts. That would uh, give me another 10 degrees Celsius. So I think it bumps it up from 122 to like 141 or something like that. Something like that. I don't know if my GoPro is going to hold out today, so we'll see how good it does. I need to get like a selfie stick or something that I can stick down on my jacket or something. And just take shots, so I try to get the take off at least. And, uh, land in, hopefully. A little bit of end flight. Not going too far today, it's chilly out. So we're lucky to be flying in these temperatures. That's how I feel. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get up and enjoy some of the super dense air. So anyway, we'll catch you guys when it, on takeoff here. Woo, she started. Took a few pulls, but warmed up and off. It is a cold one. It was a pain in the butt getting all this gear on, and I forgot to turn my Jeep off. So, he'll have that. Hopefully, we can get this motor started again. After all that work, we don't have too much fuel anyway, so.
so this is probably all you guys are going to get. Alright guys, just landed. Sure you can see the ice on my face. It's kind of defrosting a little bit. I've been on the ground for a minute now. Landed at 240. It was close to a half an hour flight at seven below. Burned pretty much all my fuel up. I, didn't, I don't like totally running it out of fuel. Only way I can fly with these things right here. At those temperatures, I even got to stow my brake sometimes and kind of stick my hands behind the front mounted reserve just to let my heated gloves catch back up. But these motion heat heated gloves are the ticket. Way to go. Highly recommend them. I was even able to take all my gear off with my gloves on. My GoPro was at 100%. I only got to take off and shut it off. It does not like seven below, that's for sure. Anyway, we made a nice landing right over there. Not quite close to the Jeep as I normally get. Anyway, there's a little bit of a breeze too. So that turned seven blow into, a, gosh, whatever. Probably blowing two, three, couple miles an hour at least. Probably see my exhaust. It's steady moving. So. Anyway, whew. That's some cold weather flying. So let me get my stuff packed up and I'll get back with you guys here in just a minute. Don't let that sun fool you. It's cold. <laughs> All right, back with you guys here side there you go that's better that was a beautiful flight other than the fact it was absolutely freezing super cold yeah it was uh definitely some of the colder weather i think i've flown in uh the boots did excellent heated gloves did pretty dang good all things considering um, yeah, it was the only way I could fly with them. I was just, uh, checking out the Minion Playmobil here, and I noticed it sounded a little bit different there before I, uh, come in for a landing. It seemed to change the pitch of it did. Anyway, I was just looking at it here, and I noticed my airbox has popped off. all the way so luckily they put the safety strap on here yeah they put that safety strap right down there not sure why you guys can see it right here right there and that uh basically saved my bacon all things considering, uh, just slides on there and then it pops on there. Anyway, anyway, I'll have to loosen that up when I get home. And uh, but, uh, you can see I got a little scratch there. It was rubbing on the clutch a little bit there, but. Shout out to Viterazzi for uh, putting that safety strap on there and making that thing where it won't fly in the prop. That's awesome. Yeah, so anyway, also I had the seated vest on. I for totally forgot I was wearing there. You can see the button for it. Just a cheaper heated vest. 
but there you go, you can see it's on. It's got high, medium, and low, and then off. Anyway, I totally forgot I was wearing it. And, uh, Fine, I didn't really need it. Just with the vest on itself, it's pretty warm. It's got like this aluminum foil in the back that reflects. It really keeps you pretty decently warm. But uh, yeah, anyway, that was a good cold weather flight. Like I said, I was up there for probably about a half an hour. Just cruising around, getting some airtime in. And my GoPro was at 100% I took off and yeah I was hoping to capture some more of the mountain views and stuff around me but it didn't quite work out um, I had a good idea for GoPro that would uh, really improve the battery life is do basically how my heated gloves work. You know where you have a Stigman wire that runs down through into your coat and your battery pack stays nice and nice and warm in your pocket. And hopefully that would fix the GoPro's problem. If it had something like that. I've tried you putting an external battery on it and and charging it while it's flying basically, but it's just too cold the battery inside just can't handle the cold shock or something so anyway yeah they need to design a battery pack with a cord that you could run in and plug it in just like these heated gloves and that would cure freaking the problem so yeah anyway gopro if you're listening do us cold weather guys a favor and make an external freaking cord corded version that you could throw down in your coat or whatever you're wearing and uh, have it where we can get our footage in the winter time because it really sucks you know having your camera die five minutes into the flight when it's at a hundred percent charge so anyway um mini plane mobiles got 39 on her now plus 11 so she's up there 50 hours and I really haven't did much maintenance to it besides a couple of those exhaust gaskets and That's pretty much it. Then the netting fix, which was all in all reality, it was my fault. You know, I, it was my fault when the netting got taken out. Of course, some stronger netting would be nicer. I'm about to tighten this stuff up again here. Give it another cinch down. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the flight shenanigans. Uh, a little follow up video back home um, yeah so today's video was basically showing that you can fly in some pretty cool temperatures with the right gear you know if you got some good boots some good heated gloves motion heat heated gloves is what I use uh, you guys can try whatever you want but I'm not sponsored by them in any way I, know I paid with, for the gloves with my own money and I'm just a customer basically and um, yeah anyway they worked out really good for me and it's been great at sub-zero temperatures you know seven below it's 
pretty cold with the wind chill doing 25 miles an hour plus a couple miles an hour into a headwind so I don't know what the wind chill would be I'm sure somebody out there that's a little smarter than me could uh, figure that out anyway um, yeah so that's pretty much my conclusion on cold winter flying some good gloves and good boots really helps a lot my last boots my feet would be absolutely froze right off I don't think I could have stayed up that long at this cold temperature and um, yeah heated vest helps too and it's a good pair of snow pants you gotta have a good pair of snow pants mine are just cheap ones from Walmart already falling apart so I was looking at some North Face ones at the outdoor all season clothing company and they were like $200 for some North Face pants which looks similar to the ones that I'm wearing now so I don't know how they try to get that much money out of a three quarter piece snowsuit but uh, anyway guys Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the flight content oh yeah so also my GoPro is what I'm using to record right now I haven't charged it and it looks like it's showing a half a battery now or better and yeah so anyway GoPro you need to do something about that Alright guys, well, until next time, we'll catch you on the next one. Blasey.